Hey everyone, so if you've been following my YouTube channel, you'll know that I have a copyright strike on one of my videos, and this has turned into a bit of a saga. A strike is basically when a copyright holder thinks that your video is infringing on their copyright, for example, using the music or showing how to pirate software, etc. And if your YouTube channel gets two strikes, then it restricts your ability to upload. And a third strike means that your entire account and all its associated channels, including this main channel here, will get terminated. Now, I know what you might be thinking, Andrew, you cover game emulation and it was only a matter of time before someone like Sony or Nintendo came knocking on the door and shut down your YouTube channel. But actually no, the source of this copyright is actually AutoCAD. Yes, AutoCAD, the software which is used by industrial engineers, architects, etc., to basically 3D model things like buildings and create technical drawings. And the video in question is on my second YouTube channel. So if you didn't already know, I have a second YouTube channel here which covers everything from say DIY and plumbing tips to how to install various games on a Mac. And often what happens is that I create videos in responses to questions. So lots of people ask me to test out software working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And basically I just record myself making that tutorial video, testing it out for myself, and basically trying to be as helpful as possible, showing people that things actually can work on Apple Silicon hardware. And so in the actual video in question, um, what I'm actually doing is showing people how to legitimately download the official version of AutoCAD. So I'm showing people that you can actually sign up for a free trial. You can go ahead and download it and you can basically get it working on a Mac. I go through the full install process and then I show people how to use the official trial. There's no copyright infringement. There's no bypassing of any official licensing. What I'm showing here is the official way for new AutoCAD customers to make use of their software on a Mac. But weirdly, the copyright strike doesn't have anything to do with the actual video tutorial content itself. It's actually the URL that's included in the description. So if I show you here, the problem that AutoCAD have is the fact that we are linking to the Autodesk website. So that's the parent company of AutoCAD. That's how you buy AutoCAD. You have to go to autocad.com or .co.uk or .es in order to buy the one year subscription. So I'm linking to the official URL of Autodesk in order to buy the one year subscription. And they're saying here that this infringes on their copyright. If I actually copy and paste the actual infringing URL here and have a look, this takes us to the official place to buy AutoCAD for a whopping 2,300 euros. This is the official website. I've accidentally linked to the Spanish version. I can switch to any region and basically it's, you know, it's an expensive piece of software. I'm linking to the official AutoCAD Autodesk website to buy the software. So for me, it's kind of crazy that an official link to their official software has been flagged as being copyright infringement and has put my entire YouTube channel at risk. So what have I tried to do? So the first thing is that I've tried to submit a counter notification which has been rejected. So it says here, we think it's possible you are misusing our counter notification process. If you are sure you have all of the necessary rights to post the content, you may resubmit your request. But if I click on the select action button, there isn't an ability to resubmit the counter notification. It's telling me here to message autodesk one cp at redpoints.com. So I've already emailed redpoints.com and I haven't had a response. And basically I've tried everything else in order to resolve this issue. I've tried to tweet AutoCAD, tweet Autodesk, tweet Team YouTube, which is YouTube's official Twitter support page. I'm trying to get as much support through this issue as possible, but it's all been useless so far. We're now six days into this copyright strike. And this is a really serious issue because if I get a second copyright strike for simply inserting an official URL into the description of a YouTube video, then I could get a second copyright strike and then a third one as well, which basically means that all of my YouTube accounts are gonna get deleted. So at the moment, I'm not really sure what else I can do about this issue. It's clear that red points are some kind of copyright strike notification third party, which is basically automated this process of making sure that every single Autodesk link is copyright struck for whatever reason. Beyond this, I'm really at a loss about what to do next. So what I'm really hoping is that people come and give a little bit more support to the tweets that I've been sending out. So I'll leave a link to my Twitter account or my X account so that you can see if you have an account. It'd be really helpful if you reposted this and tweeted this and if you got in touch with AutoCAD, Autodesk, Team YouTube and also the company Redpoints as well to try and get this copyright strike removed. If you like the kind of content that I create, the, all of these Mac gaming tutorials and all of these DIY tutorials as well, then I hope that you continue to support my channel. If I do make progress, I'll make an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.